Now welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob. Oh, Freaky Bottom. Believe it or not. This game looks very different than I remember it being. It has a pirate robot, apparently. And those other robots. So it seems like I have a maximum number of guesses for matching, thankfully. I don't care what my score is. And just now I wasn't actually paying much attention to what I saw where, so hopefully I'm not gonna mess anything up. I think this was Sandy right here, maybe? Oh jeez. No, that was Sandy. Darn it. There we go. Is there any reason not to just do what I'm doing here? Like, is there an optimal matching game strategy that isn't just systematically going from one end to the other? Like I was doing? Because I'm trying to do is maximizing my rate of discovering what's under each card, or what's, what's where. And then as soon as I see both of something, I... I make the match. Maybe that's not the best way of doing it. I don't know. Because of the first of a pair I pick up is something they've already seen somewhere else and I can make the match. Yeah, I don't know if there's any better way of doing that. Oh, that did the trick. I remember remember now. I gotta gotta find Patrick and stop stop these robots. What did the truth? Were you actually finding like characters underneath those manholes? What was SpongeBob supposed to be doing in game at that point? Patrick, I like these subtitles. Hi, SpongeBob. Hey, what are you doing in that cage? Patrick, I'm not in a cage. You are. Hey, I may be st stupid, but I'm no dummy. But I'm also dumb. Where badass are clearly the one one inside the cage. Trust me, Patrick. You you are the one in the in the cage. Don't worry, old pal. I'll get you out. No way. No way. I'm gonna let let my best buddy dry out out in a slammer. I feel like there's some kind of metaphor in this. Just sit back and watch the master at work. Master at what? I saw there was a robot on a podium there. It is actually trivia. This is very different from the robots I remember. I like this idea. More in-depth, variegated interactions with the robots. Okay, I swear we're gonna get this to work. So, uh, this particular game doesn't load using the the video card that actually runs well. But if I use a different video card, I can actually get this game to run. So, I'm gonna change the video card back after this one mini game. But I guess we'll just use the other video card for this mini game. It makes the game run insanely slow. Ah, uh, jeez. But the game runs. It's all you can ask for. You have no idea how determined I am to get this game to run. I think I've heard that voice synthesizer before. I don't know which one it is. Do cut. I just press the number two. And hit enter. Let's click on it. I said two. Oh, I see. I don't even. So I can just press, make a choice of the of the number key, I think, and then just wait for the time to run out. I think it works that way. I love you, AWE. This is why I'm going through this torture. 
Alright, we're gonna go to the next one. No, the score is still going up. Oh my god. We're, we're waiting for it. I don't know why the score is going up so slow. But okay. Patrick's even like walking back and forth and everything. I don't know why. It's just that one number that's going up so slow. Okay, next question. Could you repeat that question again? I guess exercising. Ten questions though, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna be the rest of the episode. And then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have two whole episodes recorded. And the issue then is gonna be that I still have three more episodes to record, but it's gonna be my third night of trying to record this game tomorrow night. Oh jeez. I should be in bed right now, but here I am. Trying to play SpongeBob on Windows 98. It's, I said 95 for some reason last episode, so it's 98. But here I am trying to play old SpongeBob games on Windows 98. What am I doing with my life? I'm appreciating the fine art that is AWE's SpongeBob games, that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing it with you all. Even if that entails great hardship. Even if this turns out a little more problematic than expected, I still I only intend to finish this. At no point have I ever... Rock. At no point have I ever started a series or started a game on this channel and then not finish it. At least, well... I guess there was one a really long time ago. There's one series a really long time ago that I didn't finish. It was actually, of all things, Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 1, not Kingdom Hearts 2. But I didn't finish that one for a few reasons, but that was a really long time ago. Like, one of my first things I tried to play on this channel. A little bit of trivia for you. The videos are still on YouTube, actually. They're just set to private. There's nothing worth seeing about them. Thing is, I had problems with... Part of the reason that I cancelled it was... I was having problems recording it to the point where the there is no game audio because I forgot to plug in the one of the cables. Oh, I got a key. To what? And then on top of that, the game footage was all messed up because it was it got all sped up and slowed down and desynced from my commentary. Shields. But, so the re end result was you had game footage with no audio that was just random, essentially, because it wasn't even in sync with the commentary that you heard. And it was a totally incoherent product. So, there's not, even if you wanted to see it to be curious about my older work, which I don't think any people would be curious about anyways, there won't be anything to see. It's an incoherent mess. I don't know why I upload that to YouTube anyways. Oh well. Hey, can we have like a reverse mercy rule where if I get in excess of 500 points we can finish early? Because otherwise we finished I think three questions so far. Three or four? Four. And we've already taken five minutes. Well, Patrick what, seems to understand does, he's does in a cage. Has, 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 Unless he's just trying to get Spongebob out of the cage, I guess. Anything, I guess. It's not the pie. I don't think he particularly cares about Kelpo. I don't think he'd like Radish, but... Specifically. But, whatever. See, I like this interpretation of the robots, where instead of just wreaking havoc on everyone, they just kind of do their own thing. Including making people play on game shows without an audience. How many points? How high is it gonna go? 400 something, I guess. Was that... Well, I thought it was in the, th the high 300s before I answered, and I got like 90 points. Maybe like 470? 460? 50? Oh wow. Nothing near that. Whatever. 
Maybe that's where my score was before, I guess. I'd argue he doesn't have a roof. Oh, none of the above. We'll get into the different ones here. But no, it's an antenna. Naturally. I like how these are all about Patrick. And it is, in fact, Patrick P Trivia. I guess we're just asking SpongeBob how well he knows his friend. That's sometimes kind of creepy. Here are all these things about your friend. How much of them do you know? All of them. I know everything about this man. Starfish thing. My knowledge of him is interminable. Actually, this reminds me. So, one thing that I kind of wanted to do that never happened was there was a Spongebob DVD game, a Spongebob trivia DVD game that I never owned, but well, someone I know, one of the people I've made videos with on this channel, I don't remember who it was, Stom or Archeo, one of the two. One of them had, I really don't know which one it was, but one of them had that game, and what we did was we actually played it together at one point. The thing was, we kind of wanted to do a quote-unquote let's play of it, which would be kind of funny, because I could play it on my PS3 as a DVD. What? Probably his mom. I guess. I, I, I'm actually, I admit, I don't remember what this a reference to. Wait, is this even an option? Well, he wouldn't have known Sandy back then. I was trying to think. I don't know what it's actually referencing. I actually really don't know what episode that's from. Which feels awkward. Because when we played that trivia game, I got every question right. I was the only one to get everything right. There was one time where it asked if Patrick was glasses and we just said, no. <laughs> Felt kind of obvious. And then it plays the clip where Patrick says, I need my glasses. And he takes glasses of water and sticks them on his eyeballs. And that was just a collective, oh no, moment for all of us. But it turns out, in fact, the answer, despite that clip, was, no, he doesn't have my glasses. But the issue was the format of that is it asks a question and then afterwards it shows you a clip from the show that gives you the answer to that question. Issue being that I can't really put that on YouTube because there'll be clips from the show. So... Patar. Um, the Pink Menace, I guess? I, I don't really know what... Um, Patar's not an alter ego. No, that's just him from the past. Is that Barnacle Boy? Is that Barnacle Boy? I guess the Pink Menace? I don't remember that from anything either, this is weird. I don't know where this is coming from. I do like this is stuff that references the show, at least some of it was. I don't know... Some of these things I don't recognize at all. It would be really weird if there were things that you just had to guess about. It would be classic AWE strangeness. Anyway, so of course I couldn't put that on the on YouTube because it was stuff from the show. So what we were going to do, and this just never happened and it would have been too much work, was we were going to hand draw depictions of each of the scenes ourselves and we would just replace the video footage of the clips from the show with that. But otherwise it would just be us playing the DVD game. Squidward. Larry! But unfortunately it never came to be. But just a little background, a little thing that I never brought up on this channel before because I never had reason to. But this reminds me of it a little bit. It's kind of funny. So it's going to be kind of funny, but just don't really have to look at. Although, Stone and Archeo have a brand of humor that is very much not in line with my usual Spongebob content anyway, so them being here will be kind of weird. Although I say that, but at the same time, I played Lights, Camera, Pants with them. So I guess I've already kind of messed that up. Keeping them out of SpongeBob things. Oh well. Final question. What's my score so far? It's out of a thousand, I guess it would be. I'd actually hope my score would be higher. I feel like I'd be averaging closer to 90 on these, but apparently not if my score is only like 800. Not even that. With nine questions in. All right, last question. That's a very good question. Okay, wait a minute. 70 or... Th I like the answer 33. I like the concept of it being an odd number. 
Uh, the best part is we can see Patrick's hand right next to us right now. Oh man, 100, look at that. That's a strong finish. So, when we come back next episode, we'll actually have the game running at a better speed. I guess I can't say a reasonable speed, but better than this. Assuming that we don't have to do this again to actually get the game to run. Assuming we don't have problems with other random minigames just refusing to run. Oh jeez. One thing I was actually kind of thinking of trying to do... I might play different parts of this... I don't know. I can't figure out how to get files from... From the Windows 98 emulator to the other emulator, to the Windows XP emulator, if I could, or virtual machine rather, if you prefer, if I could, I would copy my save file between the two. I'd like to do that. So that whichever one could run whichever game, I would have the one, the better one on it. Unfortunately, they've already gotten to us too, and turned us into robots with robotic speech. The pink menace? Who? Him. Yes, yes, yes. SpongeBob, your poor voice. It is the pink mask. What? It's not a very hero name. Anyways, I'm not sure... Depending on the structure of this game, I might also be able to just try playing other branches of the game, because it seems to be in three branches on Windows XP, if the game actually works. We'll see. Yeah, though, we'll play this particular level in slightly better speed, assuming it doesn't crash when I try to play it with a better graphics driver. But like I was saying, I would like to try... If I can figure out some way to transfer my save file between this and... I might look into this. If I can figure out a way to transfer my save file between this here this virtual machine and the other one I'd like to do that but I haven't been able to figure out how to do that so I'll have to see anyways I'll see you guys next time when we hopefully have better speed oh dear I'm not gonna give up never